there, welcome back to our channel. We're heading into Basingstoke. I think this is possibly the last trip now before we go on holiday. Who knows? Um, hopefully, we're going as I film this in three weeks time. And uh, we've just got the last few bits and pieces to get. And uh, we thought we'd bring you along with us. Let us know what are always the last things that are on your list before you go away. Um, I don't think we've got too much to get, just some bits and pieces like to take on the plane, a few toiletries. I'd like to get a couple of plain white t-shirts from Primark, but we're going to go and have a little mooch. I'd like to look at some bags. He wants to look at a new, he's after a new park bag. So um, yeah, we're going to have a mooch and see what we can find. Really, really hope that you enjoy today's video. Our first shopping stop and we're in Smith's. Aid's after, what puzzle book are you after? He's after a particular puzzle book for the plane. Word search, but he doesn't want a chunky one, he just wants a little thin one. And he seems to be struggling finding one. Mm, with Tom Hanks on it there. You like Tom Hanks? Yeah, no. It's just a bit chunky, I know. You just want a thought, small thin one, don't you? We don't watch any daytime TV. We don't watch any soap operas. Because we don't need to. We can just read the front of magazines and then we catch up. He's going to get that one and a crisscross as well. Staff, I might be able to help you. Yeah, so I was going to uh, go in and <laughs> yeah, see exactly I what I need. Because <laughs> uh, you're looking and going, well, that's not really so good that we've cordoned off all the, uh, all the travel essentials. We travel. <laughs> we've come to Boots for one item, and the one item is separated off. Got his sponge, some kind of member of staff climbed underneath for him. I've just seen this dress I really like. All the Disney stuff was here last time. It's all gone. I wonder where it is. I love this sweatshirt. Seven pounds. And possibly after some more pouches. These are cute. Love that bag. Additional long handle inside. 18 pounds. That's so cute. Summer stuff's gone. It's all the winter things now. I like those. They're pretty. Do you like those? Hmm. A bit plasticky, aren't they? I like that throw with the pom poms over there. It smells nice around hmm. here. Soft cashmere. Hmm. Doesn't really smell of anything. These look like nice little gifts, yeah. don't they? Look quite nice. I like that. Did I knock something? That's really pretty. You can't smell those though because they're taped on. Oh, nice homeware here. Oh, it's a little tray set. Look, a two piece tray set, five pounds. That's quite nice. Oh, look what I found. These are cute. I'm not going to buy them, but they're nice. That is cute. That is really sweet, isn't it? I like that. I saw this basket tray last time. Seven pounds. Not meant to come out the fake. Oh, I like that. Some nice things in here at the moment, actually. I'm not so fussed with all the animal-y stuff. It's not really me. If, it were, if that was half price, I'd be so tempted for Louis. But it's also blowing it up there on holiday, isn't it? He won't do that, really. No, he won't. It's cute, though. Well, that's reduced to £10. It's quite bulky, though, to take on holiday, yeah. isn't it? Wow, these are big mugs. They're like almost nice, tiki style. They're huge. They feel quite weighty. Yeah, they do. It's not a bad. That's quite nice, actually. The 450. I really like this one, but it's. I know I'm not going to use it. I really like this one, but I know I'm not going to use it because it's just too small, but I keep looking at it. I wouldn't drink out of it because it doesn't still, hold enough. I like that. That's a really nice size. It's not very manly, though. Do you think so? I love these pom-poms. Little Toy Story throw. Oh, some nice stationery there. Oh, do you like the case up there? Actually, that's not a bad pouch for travel. Ooh. Oh, can you pass that one down for me, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one. I don't know. I haven't even checked if I need any more pouches. But they're so handy. What's it for? I don't know. That's the thing. I haven't got to that stage yet. I like this one. It's six pounds, yeah. Tea towels is quite... I'd have those as little hand towels, actually, rather than tea towels. Cushions. Oh, these are sweet little Minnie Mouse lights. I've got Mickey Mouse ones. The mini ones are cute. Some nice lists and pens here. That's so sweet. Yeah. 
I don't think that would be a good park bag. We're in TK Maxx now looking for the perfect park bag. Aid's park bag has started to go thin. How many years have you had it? Well, yeah, it's an Oakley bag. and last year really. It's still going to last, but I just do We're just about. looking for another one. No, nothing, nothing here? No. No? What do you think? Something like that, not the wing, it's just got too much. Yeah, there's it's too, too much. You just want... Whereas this is just not... Too basic. Yeah, it's not enough. Wants well, good padding on the back, but not too big. Um, Plenty of pockets. Of Oak Oakley bags for me. Yeah, Oakley seem yeah. to be the one for you. This is... There's too many metal bits on that. That's your hand luggage this net. It's called bathroom Isn't sink. It? Bathroom sink. It's, it's it got a taps with it. Sink. I love these. Hardware. Pack of three, isn't it? Yeah, tumblers. I wouldn't. Are they ceramic or not? No, it's here, and I really think they're cute. Right, here we go. Poundland. A few summery bits here. I really love those. I think they're yummy. I am on the lookout for some mini wipes for the plane, if you Excellent. see anything. I've got What's some this here? Have you? Yeah. Waterless body wash. Let's see what's here, if there's anything new since we were last here. These are quite nice, little sippy cups. I do like the towel clips in here. Wow, I think they were 3 99 in Home Bargains. It's not bad for a pound, is it? Lots of travel items. Oh, these are really handy. The jars. Oh, look at the games as well. Travel Ludo, inflatable bits for the garden. I do keep feeling tempted about these to hang on the fence. I think they're quite nice. Might be a bit high though. Oh, that's quite sweet, look. Yeah. When, you, um, when your dog's passed, or your cat, I guess. It's quite sweet to leave in the garden. Oh, that's not very nice. You know who would be that would be perfect for? These little dog bowls are quite sweet. Oh, they're ceramic as well. I thought they were going to be tin. Are they cats? The dog bowls are left, actually. They're the bone. Oh, they're really quite sweet, aren't they, for a pound? Yeah. I'm on the look for chalk paint. This is car stuff here. Can you see paint. it? You don't think it'll be here? No, I see it's more of a craft or home thing. I don't know. What's over here? Adhesive spray. Glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. We don't want... Oh, here we go. Oh, it's two pounds. I was after a white one. I've got a green one and I don't want that colour. But apparently these are really good, but they're in the two pound section. Looking at the home section, I like these. Little mini curries would be quite sweet in there. They've still got the beer crates as well. I'll link up the DIY that I made with them. There's little mirrors. That could be a quite a cute DIY as well. And I do quite like the little flamingo tea light. I like these. Oh, look, you get four for a pound. That's not bad. It's quite sweet. It's just seen Toy Story breakfast cereal, whole grain. That's quite cute, isn't it? We're in blacks now, looking for the perfect park bag. I know. Is that the one that you've just looked at now? Yeah, I quite like that one. It looks bulky like that. You look like a turtle. Do I? Yeah. Green yeah, I think we should. And we're going to see if we can get a table at Wagamama's. And there's our ginger chicken udon. So good. That was such a lovely meal. We did have a reason for going to Wagamama's. Um, we're celebrating 14 years of dating. Um, it was where A took me on our first ever date, that exact Wagamama's. I was going to say we ordered the same things we had on our first date, but we always order that when we go to Wagamama's, don't we? Ginger chicken udon. It's our favourite. Mm, so nice. uh, that's why we went to Wagamama's. It was a really nice meal, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Really busy as well, wasn't it? It was really busy for a Thursday evening. And we are going to... I'm going to do the haul tomorrow, actually, um, because it's getting bucks. late. And um, we need to walk puppy dog when we get home. So yeah. I'll do the haul in the morning. So I'm now going to run through everything that we bought yesterday. Um, I'll start off in boots. Aid picked up the sponges. They've got like the um, massage bit that he really likes. So he's got a couple of these for holiday. And I picked up a mini hairspray for Louis from Boots. It's a mini ultra strong power hold. And I think it was one pound something. I was so disappointed with Primark. It's nearly all winter stuff now. It really, really surprised me. There were hardly any of the summer bits left. 
and there was a lot, it was a bit jumble sale -y. what was left was just all kind of like put together on one rail and um, I didn't get the t-shirts that I really, really wanted. I did get this one, I think it's going to be a bit short, um, but it's quite a loose one, so I'll see how that goes, maybe with shorts, and that was £4. And I picked up three vest tops, um, I've got two different shades of grey and one white. Um, I really like to layer these up with tops and they're just £1.80 each. I picked up two packs of um, headphones for the kids hand luggage, they're just £1.50. Um, I buy these as emergencies for the hand luggage, they've got their own decent headphones but just in case they break or anything like that they have got a spare pair that will get them through a long flight. And even if they don't use them, they're always good for emergencies in the house. Now I'm dying to have a look at these. These are clear hair bands. They look tiny, but apparently they're really stretchy. Oh, they are actually. Um, they're supposed to be no snag bands, but also because a lot of the time I tie my t-shirts up at the side a little knot, I think these will look really nice rather than hair bands. They were just one pound and there's 500 in this pouch. So um, I'm quite chuffed with those. I think they will be quite handy. I like the little pouch that they come in to keep them in as well. I've now got the Poundland shop. I picked up these to take on holiday. They are dated September now. I've been waiting for the dates to be um, obviously nearer to our trip. And you get six pound of chocolate and they're obviously a pound a pack. I am looking for new shower gel that I can buy in the UK that doesn't just smell nice when you sniff it from here, that smells nice on your body. I always use the Bath & Body Works shower gels from the States. You can only buy them in the States. And I do always stock up, so like now I've still got plenty, but um, I would like to be able to buy something from the UK as well. I bought this one, Water Infusions, Apple and Melon. It smells lovely. Um, it's original source, but I can't smell it on myself afterwards, so I won't be buying this one again, but it's handy to have anyway um but i would just love to buy a shower gel that just that you can smell on yourself afterwards i don't tend to wear perfumes because they give me headaches and i like to layer up with like shower gels and moisturizers that kind of thing so let me know what shower gel have you found that is like long lasting that smells really really nice i would love to know and i would go and try it I picked up yogurt coated cranberries for my flight. I love these. I like the sweetness with the tartness. Love them. As always, my staple um, Poundland buy, two packs of dishwasher tablets. And I also picked up some pom-pom makers. And that was it. We didn't go crazy. Oh, I've also got Aid's rucksack to show you. So Aid's going to show you his new bag that he's bought, his new park bag. Possible part bag. Possible part bag. <laughs> yes. Um, got it yesterday. Um, but first of all, we started to say a moment ago about that we did get another one from Sports Direct. But it's a Nike bag. And it's it's great. Not very padded though. And I think when I've got the, my bag on all day, I've got my camera in there, water bottles, etc, etc. It ponchos. can be a bit, yeah, ponchos, any shopping, Candy. snacks, camera accessories. Money. Yep. Sometime motion. <clears throat> Yep, everything goes in there. Ears. And it basically wasn't My very camera woman wasn't rides. exactly it wasn't very padded. Sunglasses. Ears. Ears. I said ears. Did you? Didn't hear that one. A sunglasses. We said that, didn't you? Yeah. This is my current park bag. It's an Oakley. I like that one. It's brilliant. We've had this as almost as long as we've been together. It's not too big, but it's got quite usable space. It's got a zip pocket both sides. What I like and a zip about pocket it, on the front. He doesn't look like a turtle. It doesn't look big. Some of the bags you look like a ninja turtle with a great big shell yeah, on your back. Yeah, which I don't like. This is great, but I've had this almost as long as we've been, well, together. Our first trip to Centre Parks. Problem is though, I'm wary it's worn really well, but the bottom seems to be getting a little bit thin. And I'm just worried the amount of weight that goes in it. I just got a feeling one day it's just going to give way. So I've been looking for one for a while. A replacement. The Nike one, I say ruling that out because it's basically isn't uh, thick it's enough in the, the back. Yeah the pockets and everything inside are perfect but there's no padding on the back. Yeah. And like you said <clears throat> when you've got water bottles and things you don't want them knocking your back. Now this one, Osprey, love Osprey bags. I've got their, their messenger bag um, and another one of theirs anyway which you used to use for my hand luggage. Um, this one here is brilliant. 
It's got a front pocket, sunglasses, bits and pieces, whatever in there. Another pocket here. <clears throat> this goes all the way down. The pocket inside. The zip pocket. The zip pocket in there. Other bits and pieces. I always like this feature on a bag. Always attach my keys or actually SD cards. We've got a little pouch that we put in there. Mm. So it's in there. Little kind of pockets here which are great. I said there's a zip pocket there which is quite a bit of room. Some pens and bits and pieces you could fit in there. And then the main compartment. You're even thinking about using this for hand luggage as well. I am, you? yeah. So you've got a laptop space so, in there. Now some people say, well that's a really bright colour, but to be honest I was reading some reviews and it's great because you can see what's in there. Mm, so if you've got stuff at the bottom of a bag and you can't find it, yeah. it's there. So again, laptop, I've just yeah. actually tried my... Yeah, you're right actually because it just looks dark when you look into a bag sometimes, yeah. especially like on a plane mm. or something. I've just tried it with my, actually can you get my DSLR and my laptop sleeve which is on the desk over there please. I've just actually put it in here, it's on the chair. Let's just try my laptop sleeve and it will fit in here, the DSLR will fit in here, plenty of room. But there's one thing I really, really do miss, I do miss. See, for example, my camera goes in there, laptop sleeve will go in there, and there's still plenty of room. One thing I do miss from my bag is side pockets. They've got drinks holder pockets here, I never like using them. If you're going on rides, I have the worry they're going to come out. Mm. Sizeable. So Disney, you can take all your bags on all the roller coasters, even the upside down roller coaster. Yeah. So there's that, and that's both sides. The other thing which is quite nice in the front here is a little handy pouch. Just a little mesh pocket. Ponchos when they're wet can go in there. Now Lisa doesn't know this, but I've actually had a look. After realising this range here, there's actually one which is slightly smaller. Oh, okay. It's called the Axis. This is called the Flare 22, so it's 22 litres. It's not too big, but the Axis is basically the same, but it's not as deep. This pocket at the front is only half, mm. but it has zip side pockets. Oh, okay. And they've said half litre bottles fit in them, so I've ordered one today. Okay, is it cheaper than this yes. one? Yes. How much? £10 cheaper. So £37.99? £40.46. Okay. I got a voucher for an extra 10% off. Oh, well done. Do you have to pay for postage then? No, it's free. Excellent. Well, from a company called Surf Dome. Not heard of them before, but I'm always quite keen on being able to look around for things. Is it Amazon? Not Amazon. Can you use Shops Away to get miles? Don't know. Quidco? Probably not. We'll it's an independent surf okay, shop. Okay, fair enough. So it was oh, like I'm a little excited. surf shop. So, I think the inside's going to be the same, but also I'm thinking with this bit here, this was my only pocket for putting all the accessories, snacks and everything else, mm. and I find it in history in the past, when you have stuff on top, if you put cereal bars, it makes the bag heavy on top. Mm. So having the side pockets, and also when you're walking along, yeah. you can just easily zip, if you know there's any snacks in there, if you happen to leave it open, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because if you leave it open, you've got a camera, or you've got something expensive in there, and something happens to fall out, but Osprey bags, <coughs> I believe they're American. Um, also believe they're American military um, they make, so they're very hard wearing. Um, well, we will be doing a hand luggage video actually soon. Sorry. So um, keep an eye out for that because obviously then you'll see which bag we end up using. We'll go through the bags with you. Is that I'd, it? Yeah, I'd also heard it's got a rain cover as well. Oh, really? But I've not seen it. The other thing as well, there is a little hole at the top here for hydration that you can use uh, if you so wish to put a, a bladder, oh, okay. a bladder yeah. in there. So you can buy a separate bladder that goes inside there. Or for like a doll whip, you could put your you, doll you whip in the do, back. Yes, yeah. you put a little pouch in there, yeah. and away you go. I like that idea. But no, so pleased with it. But let's see if that's the one which we actually stay with. Thank you very much for watching our video today. Um, I think this could possibly be our last shot now before we go away. Unless we've got to take this back. Oh yeah. <laughs> but um, let me know how you're doing with your trip planning. I know lots of you are going on trips. And um, let me know how it's going. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to our channel if you are new. Especially as we've got all our new trip videos coming very yes. soon. Ooh, I will link up our Instagram, Instagram, Instagram accounts below for you. We've also got a new Disney one as well. Aid and Lisa do Disney. Um, have a guess who set up that account. Me? Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Take care. Thanks, bye. bye.